don't send people to the deep sea. We use Hercules and Argus, two remotely operated vehicles, or what we like to call ROVs. They're equipped with high definition cameras and lights, and are tethered with a long fiber optic cable back up to the ship, where the pilots in the command center on board the ship can move them around. As an ROV intern, you get thrown into, thrown into the mix really quickly, and that was a fantastic way to, one, explore the oceans and, and really satiate this, this need for adventure and also need for technology and biology, just fuse everything together. I think the most challenging element was totally getting a full grasp of the spatial awareness that you need to be when you are subsea. So being in an environment that you're not actually in, you're using remote controls, you're using uh, remote data. Kind of the challenges of, of working offshore uh, and all the preparations that go into that, you know, you're, you're kind of insulated on board, so you have to be prepared for any kind of circumstances. So we do a lot of vehicle maintenance, um, but we also do piloting up in the van. Hercules is the main ROV, but Argus is a secondary vehicle that is sort of the eye in the sky and looks down over Hercules and allows us to uh, kind of get a feel for where we are down on the ocean floor. Both, both pilots are looking at a large number of video feeds to help us drive the robots. Um, when you're trying to drive them, you run into this problem where everything looks flat and it's very hard to grab things. We have multiple views of every scene that helps us resolve a 3D scene so we can grab things properly. As a Hercules pilot, uh, the primary goal is keeping the vehicles safe and in control. And if we can do that, we can achieve all our science objectives. So that includes navigation of the not only Hercules, but also Argus and the ship, uh, making sure that we work with the navigators to uh, get to where we want to be. Responsibilities are flying the vehicle, they're launch and recovery of the vehicle, maintaining the vehicle, and uh, making sure that the vehicle's ready to go when science needs us to be in the water. My favorite instrument on Hercules is the manipulator. <laughs> no, no, but this is, this is a fantastic instrument, I would say, and it's a fantastic tool because we can really do a lot of sample collection, a lot of fun to work with as well, and uh, it just gives me a lot of joy just to be able to think that we're on a ship and then we're able to control something that's so deep in the water column and still have an extension of your own hand. And just the other day, we, you know, simple thing like using a crowbar to try and pry off a piece of rock is, is always challenging and fun, and people get a kick out of it. So my advice would be for anyone that wants to follow this path is just continually put yourself out there. I mean, when I first came out to the Nautilus, I didn't have any experience with ROVs. Learning how to fly and be an RV pilot is always, usually I would say, best to do in the field. So try and get yourself out there. I think someone that wants to get into this kind of line of work should pursue an education in the technical field, but not limit yourself to just academic learning. You also got to get hands on, whether that's through hobbies or clubs or other programs. And understanding how things work, not just how they should work in theory, but how they actually work. And getting practice with that and having an understanding of that is worlds better than anything you can learn in a classroom.